Hello, my name is Lily, I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking, this video is part of the second generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers, this second generation includes an initial model for news analysis, as always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only, no warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are provided, stated, or marketed in this opinionated video, which can contain errors, never use this video video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions, review important disclaimer at the end of the video, now that we have made our lawyers happy, capitalist brothers and sisters, let's get started, VIP went public on January 10, 2008, which was roughly 15 years ago, looking back 650 calendar days from Friday January 13, 2023 to Wednesday April 7, 2021, we found 448 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis, the chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for VIP after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Before we jump into price and volume analysis, Let's look at recent headlines for BIP. What were recent headline news for BIP? Today, Tuesday, January 17, 2023, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was a combination of the exchange and the ticker symbol, NYSE. BIP. The results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 9 unique dates. Publication dates span 28 days. The latest publication was actually today, Tuesday, January 17, 2023 when there were two found headlines, GuruFocus.com published the headline that read, Walnut Private Equity Partners. MarketBeat published the headline that read, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP Shares Sold By. The oldest publication was on Tuesday, December 20, 2022, when one month and 28 days ago, Seeking Alpha published the headline that read, Brookfield Infrastructure, It's Not Been This Cheap In A Long Time. The latest publication date was the day with the most found headlines. I have not yet received pricing data for that day so cannot calculate the day's percentage change in price. The latest publication date of Tuesday, January 17, 2023, was actually the day with the highest percentage change in price. It saw a price jump of 2.32%. Saturday, December 24, 2022 was the day with the highest percentage change in price when we compare opening versus closing price for the ticker. The day saw a drop of minus 1.00% when in VIP open trading at 31.14 and closed at $30.83. There was one found headline when MarketBeat published the headline that read, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP Given Average. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end of day price and volume for BIP? On Friday, January 13, 2023, BIP had an end of day price of $34.53 and volume of about 188.8 thousand. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 0.9%, gaining 31 cents, while volume dropped 70.25%, decreasing about 446,000. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $4.30, the max and minimum end of day price were respectively 34.53 and 30.23. Volume saw a range of 1.4 million, from a day low of 188.8 thousand to a day high of 1.6 million. Hello, my name is Magnus, how did January 13, 2023 rank for BIP, by 650 calendar day look back to the 7th of April 2021, across 448 trading days, of which January 13, 2023 price ranked 415 while its volume ranked 343, each of the 448 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 448 being 
being the lowest rank day, the prices day over day percentage change, jumping 0.9% on January 13, 2023, had a day rank of 95 while its dollar difference of 31 cents had a rank of 101 when compared day over day across 447 trading days, volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 445 and 441. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did January 13, 2023 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 448 trading days, the maximum end of day price for BIP was $45.33 while the minimum was $30.23. Within that price range, January 13, 2023 price, of $34.53, landed within the first quartile, meaning it was within the bottom 25% of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the, the first quartile, at the bottom 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 1.7 million and a minimum of 93.9 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, BIP has a median price of $37.975, therefore, January 13, 2023 price was lower from that middle marker by 9.07%. The day's volume of 188.8 thousand was less than the median by 26.14%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for BIP? Across 448 trading days, there were a total of 22 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $43.90 for 04, 2022 while the minimum was $32.93 for 12, 2020 seconds. Looking at volume, 12, 2020 seconds and 08, 2021 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 800.2 thousand and 165.5 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for BIP? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 22 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 04, 2021 to 12, 2020 seconds, 12 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 55% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 95% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 0.49% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.88%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 64.82% and minus 1.85%. Hello, my name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to Ticker DD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has BIP price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short term versus a long term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short term moving average crosses above its long term average. 
vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black, if no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 to 200 days, we found a bearish death cross signal because the 50-day SMA crossed below the 200-day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50-day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, we could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 30 to 50. Hello, my name is Carl, I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker, here is what I found, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP owns and operates utilities, transport, midstream, and data businesses in North and South America, Europe, and the Asia Pacific, the company's utilities segment operates approximately 61,000 kilometers, km, of operational electricity transmission and distribution lines, 5,300 kilometers of electricity transmission lines, 4,200 kilometers of natural gas pipelines, 7.3 million electricity and natural gas connections, and 360,000 long-term contracted sub-metering services. This segment also offers heating and cooling solutions, gas distribution, water heaters, and heating, ventilation, and air conditioner rental, as well as other home services. Its transport segment offers transportation, storage, and handling services for merchandise goods, commodities and passengers through a network of approximately 22,000 kilometers of track, 5,500 kilometers of track network, 4,800 kilometers of rail, 3,800 kilometers of motorways, and 13 port terminals. The company's midstream segment offers natural gas transmission, gathering and processing, and storage services through approximately 15,000 kilometers of natural gas transmission pipelines, 600 billion cubic feet of natural gas storage. 17 natural gas processing plants, and 3,900 kilometers of gas gathering pipelines, as well as one petrochemical processing complex. Its data segment operates approximately 148,000 operational telecom towers, 8,000 multipurpose towers and active rooftop sites, 10,000 kilometers of fiber backbone, 1,600 cell sites and approximately 12,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable, and 2,100 active tele telecom towers and 70 distributed antenna systems, as well as 50 data centers and 200 megawatts of critical load capacity. The company was founded in 2007 and is based in Hamilton, Bermuda. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP is a subsidiary of Brookfield Asset Management Inc. Hello, my name is Dan. Let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by TickerDD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15 and April 15, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy, whose friends called him, Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for four straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime, as is, data that are publicly available. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. 
So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the due diligence part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the TickerDD army by going to TickerDD dd.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways for example like and subscribe also put this video on reddit or stocktwits along with your own dd hello it is me again lily thank you for watching check out our other videos on April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from TickerDD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified, financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, TickerDD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the is of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. 
your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.